From humble beginnings to challenging corporate giants, there's one family-run business that has proven its mettle in the cutthroat world of fast food. Get ready to discover the remarkable story of Donato's Pizza, a small-time restaurant chain that defies the odds and outshines even McDonald's with their exceptional business acumen. Back in 1963, a determined teenager launched a single restaurant in Columbus, Ohio, which has since blossomed into a colossal empire. With over 160 stores across nine states, Donato's has emerged as one of the nation's largest pizza chains, according to Restaurant Business. But there's more to this success than meets the eye. But what lies behind the irresistible allure of Donato's? Brace yourself for a journey into the tantalizing secrets that make this pizza chain a cut above the rest. Ever wondered what happens when a giant like McDonald's takes over? Donato's experienced just that, adding a fascinating twist to their evolution. And it doesn't stop there. Their mouth-watering recipes and perfectly crafted dough hold the key to their unrivaled success. Uncover the secret behind Donato's exceptional pizza dough and explore the fascinating stories behind their appearance on the hit show, Undercover Boss. Meet Jim Grote, an Ohio native who embarked on a delicious journey at the tender age of 13. Forget the paper route. This ambitious teenager decided to join forces with a local pizzeria in his hometown of Columbus. And boy, was that a life-changing move. From the moment Jim stepped foot in the pizzeria, he knew he had found his calling. Climbing the ranks at lightning speed, he became a store manager at the unbelievable age of 15. But here's where the plot thickens. When he turned 16, the owners offered to sell him the business. However, Jim's father had other plans in mind. He insisted on his son finishing high school and going to college first. So, with a sprinkle of patience and determination, Jim enrolled at Ohio State University. But fate had a delicious twist in store for Jim. During his sophomore year, the opportunity to purchase the pizzeria arose once again. This time, Jim's father was fully on board and even lent him the exact amount needed, a cool $1,300 to seal the deal. And just like that, in the year 1963, Jim Grote became the proud owner of a pizzeria at the ripe age of 19. The name? Donato's. Yes, Jim knew that some things were too good to change. And talking about a name, when Jim Grote took the reins of Donato's Pizza in 1963, he made a pivotal decision that would shape the company's philosophy. Rather than rebranding, he chose to retain the name Donato's, which held a profound meaning. In Latin, Donato's translates to, to give a good thing, a phrase that struck a chord with Grote's belief in the power of generosity. This conviction sprouted during his teenage years while working at Donato's. Grote observed how one of the owners consistently went above and beyond, generously loading the pizza with toppings. In contrast, the other owner skimped on quality, diluting sauces and stretching toppings. Grote keenly noticed the difference in customer response as the generous portions attracted more business. The experience imprinted upon him the significance of providing a remarkable product. From the moment Grote assumed ownership, he held a steadfast commitment to serving the highest quality pizza. However, the notion of to give a good thing extended beyond the culinary domain. Over the decades, Donato's embraced a culture of giving back. Their philanthropic endeavors have left an indelible mark, particularly in their home state of Ohio. Numerous organizations have benefited from Donato's support, embodying the spirit of their name. Moreover, recognizing the importance of supporting their own, Donato's established the Donato's Family Promise Fund. This initiative ensures that employees at any level who face financial hardships receive the assistance they need. By embodying their foundational philosophy, Donato's continues to exemplify what it means to give a good thing in more ways than one. Now, do you know what Donato's is famous for? Well, I guess you don't. Here is an interesting surprise. And if you like to learn about the history of your favorite eateries, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. In the vast landscape of pizza chains, one name rises above the rest with its distinctive Columbus-style pizza, Donato's. While New York and Chicago may steal the spotlight, the small Midwestern city has its own authentic and remarkable pizza tradition. Columbus-style pizza is a true gem, characterized by three defining features. A thin crust, toppings that extend to the edges, and square slices. Donato's proudly embraces these elements, offering every pie with a thin crust, cut into mouth-watering squares. 
Donato's goes the extra mile when it comes to toppings. Their promise? Each pie will be absolutely loaded with a generous array of delicious ingredients. In fact, they take their commitment to toppings so seriously that they've trademarked the phrase, edge to edge, guaranteeing an exceptional culinary experience. Just picture it. Every bite bursting with flavor. Every pepperoni pie boasting exactly 100 slices of savory goodness. While Donato's may have played a crucial role in popularizing Columbus-style pizza across the country, credit for this delectable creation belongs to others. The origins of Columbus-style pizza trace back to the genius of Romeo Siri and the Marsucci brothers, Dan and Jim. It all began at Romeo's Italian restaurant in 1949, where the tantalizing pizza made its debut. The Marsucci brothers later opened Massey's, Columbus's first-ever pizzeria, which still graces the city to this day, preserving the legacy of this iconic pizza style. And talking about pizza, Grote understood that achieving consistent pizza dough required more than just following a recipe. It demanded a meticulous process that ensured every location could deliver the same mouth-watering experience. This realization led Donato's to revolutionize its dough-making operations. Instead of individual restaurants making their own dough, the company devised a system where all the dough was prepared at a central commissary. This way, the dough could be meticulously crafted and stored before being distributed to each location. However, this method posed challenges as Donato set its sights on expansion. To scale up its dough-making operations and accommodate future growth, the company took a bold step in 1991. It unveiled the groundbreaking Dough Innovation Center, a state-of-the-art facility located in Ohio. This center became the beating heart of Donato's dough production, ensuring consistency and quality across its expanding franchise network. With this new capability in place, Donato's took a leap into the franchising world, embarking on a new chapter of its remarkable journey. Since then, Donato's commitment to dough perfection and the franchise model have proven to be a winning combination. The company's expansion has flourished while maintaining its unwavering dedication to delivering the same exceptional taste and quality that started it all. The Dough Innovation Center remains a testament to Donato's pioneering spirit and its determination to give pizza lovers an unparalleled experience, slice after delectable slice. Surprisingly, Donato's once took Pizza Hut to court. In the battle of pizza chains, Donato's didn't shy away when its territory was encroached upon by Pizza Hut. Known for its iconic Columbus-style pizza, featuring toppings covering every square inch of the pie, Donato's had taken the extra step of trademarking the phrase edge to edge in 1988. However, in 1997, Pizza Hut introduced a crustless pizza called The Edge, and needless to say, Donato's wasn't pleased. Taking swift action, the smaller pizza chain filed a temporary restraining order, successfully preventing Pizza Hut from selling its product in markets where Donato's operated. This legal move highlighted Donato's commitment to protecting its trademark and unique pizza offering. The story didn't end there, though. Pizza Hut and Donato's eventually reached an agreement, reportedly involving a cash settlement. However, Pizza Hut's response didn't endear them to the public. In the following year, Pizza Hut launched an advertising campaign explicitly emphasizing that their product, The Edge, was not available at Donato's. This move inadvertently put the spotlight on Donato's, allowing the smaller chain to bask in unexpected attention. With a touch of playful defiance, Donato's marketing executive Tom Saunter made a clever remark at the time stating, I find it interesting that the largest pizza chain in the world is spending ad dollars talking about a 120-store chain out of Columbus. I hope they keep it up. We need all the help we can get. As we come to the end of this tantalizing journey through the untold truth of Donato's pizza, we leave you with one burning question. Picture this. You're craving a mouth-watering pizza experience. Do you prefer to dive into the iconic Columbus-style pizza with its edge-to-edge -edge toppings and square slices? Or are you tempted by another style that has captured your taste buds? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to support our channel. Until next time, keep enjoying your favorite pizzas and keep exploring the wonderful world of flavors.